What is up, watch friends? Welcome to another episode of Talking Time Pieces with Tony. I am wearing nothing on my wrist because in the bag, I have a box. And in that box, I have a new watch. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about my day at Bindi uh, Jewelers. And uh, let's roll the intro and get into the uh, unboxing, so to speak. All right. You're watching Time Pieces. Talking time pieces with Tony. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to, before I unbox it, I just got to tell you today was actually one of the best days I had at Bindi um, for a few reasons. Um, one, I wanted to buy a watch that I've never owned, a brand that I've never owned, um, which is kind of difficult <laughs> considering how many brands I've owned and own. Um, and I essentially went in there today to look at a Panerai Douay. And I don't know, they've been on my radar. I mean, I've known Panerai for years, you know what I mean? And, and, but I wasn't really that into them. Um, but I, I don't know what happened lately. I'm like, oh, man, I think I need a Panerai. I really do, you know? So I texted Juan, my, my AD guy. Juan, thank you. And I went down there and I looked at Panerai. Didn't like it. So I didn't buy it. Um, then while I was looking at watch, I mean, I was just looking and looking and I almost bought something I already have. Um, and then one of my viewers came in, uh, Leroy. Dude, great to see you, man. And your brother. And congrats on your Seamaster 300. I hope you wear it in good health. That's an awesome, beautiful watch, man. Congratulations. Um, it was great hanging out with him. Uh, he almost bought, he tried to get this, he tried to snake this from me. No, nah, it wasn't going to happen, dude. I got seniority, Brosef. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, and then, uh, you know, I was looking at things. I was almost bought another Cartier, um, which obviously I bought about four of them last year alone. And one wouldn't sell it to me. You, know, you have too many Cartier, dude. You have too many Cartier. And I'm like, I don't know. Well, let's just go. Okay, so let's look, let's look. In the meantime, I, um, another viewer of mine came in, met him, and I can't, I can't remember his name. I apologize. I'm terrible like that. Um, and then another viewer came in and who was in law enforcement, Luis, uh, in there. He bought an Explorer from, from Juan, and he was buying a Nomos uh Club Campus, 36 millimeter for his girlfriend. Beautiful watch. I saw it. Congratulations, Lewis. Um, hope your girlfriend loves it. Congratulations on, congratulations on your career. Um, I know you were still in the academy or just getting ready to, to graduate, I think. I'm sorry if I'm wrong. Correct me. Um, it was a pleasure to meet you. And thank you for watching, you guys. Um, it, was, it was just a great day. And then, of course, it was like, it was weird. It was kind of like being I'm back in the day when I was in the music industry mucus industry <laughs> um and wow did i say that anyway i i ended up looking at a brand that i've known for years and years and years and years and i'm like all right man i've got to get this brand and uh, then i ended up talking with a couple of the different managers there it was great talking to everyone and then one of the owners came out and i spent some time with him and it was just just so awesome. It was like, I felt like I was just treated like on the next level of amazingness. I'm definitely getting the uh, Rolex Batman. That's not an issue. I might even be getting it this month. So um, anyway, I, I just want to thank everyone at Bindi for treating me just the way you, you've been and Juan and, and the, the, I'm not going to mention the managers or the owner's name, but thank you so much. Um, so now, Let's get into the uh, watch. Keep in mind, I have not looked at it since I got home. And, oh shit. What is it? It's a, yes, Uku, it's a Breitling. Now, I almost, almost 
bought the Super Ocean in rose gold, black dial. It was gorgeous, a little flashy, just a little flashy, but I was just, I even had one of the, and between this, I was hanging on to this watch almost the whole time I was there, really. I had him pull it out, and I was like, I was sort of bonding with it, if that makes sense, kind of just getting the vibe from the watch. Um, and even one of the girls, yeah, Juan was telling me to get this one because it's harder to get this, the, the super ocean. Uh, he goes, I get those all day long, man. I get like, this one. We just got in three days ago. Um, it's a limited edition or a special edition, I believe. And they're not, they're not the easiest to get. And this one just spoke to me. I wanted an everyday sort of casual sporty chronograph so i'm gonna open it up and this is all it came in is this box there's no big box no nothing it's great and there it is isn't that gorgeous it's the polar blue or ice blue arctic blue whatever you want to call it chronograph top time let's pull it out and it's all the stickers are still on it so you might not get the greatest uh, look you got the brightling tag let's pull this out the deployant buckle and i think this series represents a, a, a racing so they have I think some for automobiles, Corvette. I believe this is a motorcycle because it has a motorcycle engine uh, on the back there engraved. Um, again, I have all the stickers on it. And I just wanted an everyday watch um, that was a sort of a sport watch, but just cool. And this looks different. It doesn't look like anything. I, I mean, I say it doesn't look like anything. It still looks like a watch, right? But uh, I believe this is... I want to say 41 millimeters. I don't know. I don't really don't know anything about Breitling that as much. Um, I asked the owner about the movement and, um, and I, one of my, other, my viewers, Leroy, he, he knew more about this watch than I did. Um, again, he was trying to steal this from me. Um, didn't happen though. Did it, bro. I got it. <laughs> it was great seeing you. Anyway, let's put it on the wrist. Um, and then I'll take the stickers off later. Um, and, it's a, and I'll do a full review on it once I get, you know, once I get used to it and wear it and everything. Um, but it just spoke to me and, you know, it's different again with Breitling. It's just, it's just, just a really nice watch. Um, if you would have asked me a year ago, if I was going to buy a Breitling, I would have said, no, 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 I'm not going to buy a Breitling, but I would have said I'd never bought a Panerai either, but you know, here we are, but I didn't buy the Panerai and I bought the Breitling instead. Um, this is just a gorgeous, I mean, I wish that the camera did this job. I mean, what you see here as to what you're seeing is different. I mean, it's got a sort of a sun ray. And if you can see, it's got like almost like a, a mask, type, like a Zorro type mask. I think that's the way that the texturing goes on this, on this dial. It's a beautiful watch. Chronograph, um, simple chronograph. And I love the way, one thing I didn't like about chronographs is the chronograph hand is, you know, always stopped at the 12 o'clock position. And a lot of times chronograph hands um, sort of, they block the, the, the brand, the name brand. It's hard to tell what it is. In this case, the chronograph hand sort of blends in with the dial. And it looks just absolutely stunning. Um, it's got a beautiful leather strap, uh, stitching on the side um more, more of a racing style strap um anyway i love this uh I, I say i love it i just got it you know and i looked at other brands i was going to get another tank uh cartier tank uh a must xl uh with the guilche dial um i did look at zenith again constantly always looking at zenith um looked at another nomos but uh you know uh, I love Nomos, so don't, don't, don't get me wrong. I'm not Nomos, I'm sorry. Uh, Mont Blanc. Uh, I looked at their moon phase chronograph, and that was like $12,000. I was just like, nah, no, not going to happen. Um, so that's pretty much it. Um, it was a beautiful day. Had a great time. 
Uh, I want to thank everyone. I want to thank all you guys, especially the viewers that I met today and uh, everyone that came in. It was just, just amazing. So thank you. Uh, have a drink. Oh, I didn't even show the cards. You know, let me, let me just show that real quick. Sorry. Um, you got your Breitling, you know, your typical stuff, dude. What, you know, again, it's not, it's not a big, big thing, but you know, you're, it's very simple, very basic packaging. So, all right. Having said that, you guys, peace out. You have a great night. Thank you again.